My name is Aluko Blackman. I work at the Guyana Power and Light. My name is Tiffany Ashby. I'm 19 years old and I'm a student of the University of Guyana. My name is Malcolm Wills. I'm 24 years old. I just completed my bachelor's degree in medical rehabilitation physiotherapy. Every day when you go to social media, whether on YouTube or uh, Facebook or someplace, you know, it's like somebody telling you something about COVID-19. They're telling you one time black people don't cannot contract COVID-19. Like next thing you hear, thousands of blacks are dying in America with COVID-19. Um, then they say, they say children can't catch it. Or if you, oh my God, if you drink plenty of water, it's going to wash the virus down. And the information was vast, it was, it was so much that you didn't know what to believe. And I, I was like terrified. I was like, you know, oh my God, what's happening, Aluko? What's happening? I shut out Facebook. I stopped going on YouTube and I stopped listening to people. I just work on me. Things like um, the Lysol spray and so forth, you know, those disinfectant spray and the carb carbolic soap and all the um, soap that would kill viruses and so forth. You couldn't find any. One Lysol spray was about um, a regular, the regular price was about um, $1,800 there about for one. Now you had to pay $4,000 for one Lysol spray at that time. Some places $5,000. So I went to one place once and it was $6,000 for, for the large um, tin. Apart from that, the bush like the, uh, the lemongrass which was a wild thing. You, you go in the market, a portion about this was about $400, believe me. So everything, you know, the prices, I mean, a lot of persons were exploiting customers and so on. And the prices went up, tripling, you know, the, 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 the regular prices and so on. And it was very difficult. Financially, in some ways, there is more electricity bill. Everybody's home, um, more water. They're using more water, so they're paying more um, food. Everybody is just eating like. I must say that it was a bit challenging having to complete my final year. Um, in that what we would call safe mode as the university referred to it as where most of the classes were moved online and we had limited um, classroom interactions with lecturers it was difficult it was tough not only for me but for some of my other colleagues as well but I just want to thank God that I was able to pull through in 2019, I've started university and I've only gotten one semester face-to-face -face with the lecturers at the university. COVID came in 2020 and everything was transferred onto the virtual classes. So that was my first time ever doing virtual classes and I've accustomed to face-to-face -face learning in high school. So for me at first, it was very hard very challenging I would say and I felt the need to take a leave so I took a leave in September last year and I'm scheduled to start back the university this September personally COVID-19 has had um, somewhat of an impact on my life in terms of both financially my ability to earn because I have a small business and that business would have taken a little bit of a job at the start of the pandemic However, I've been able to pull myself together, pull my resources together as well, and better adapt to the current conditions. For me, I have so much to do. And it's not one child that I have. It's four of them. COVID-19 has really impacted my children in terms of they're way behind where they should be. 
way way behind I'm trying my best but as a parent it's very difficult because there's so much I have to do and to wear the cap of a teacher as well for my children that are at different level the three different levels it's really difficult we only have 24 hours in a day I was infected with the coronavirus last year August um, the 23rd of August and that was the worst time for me I was terrified believe me you know mentally sick it's like you wake up in the morning and you're tired more than anything else you know I was so tired and I felt really 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 you know lonely because you, you can't talk to people the only thing you can you do is use your um, your whatsapp to you know chat and so forth and that kind of thing so I never experienced the shortness of breath but I lost my sense of taste and the sense of smell and that thing was crazy let me tell you something I went on vacation for six weeks at a time but I've never felt so alone and uncomfortable in a 14 days or a 21 days period never <laughs> like how I felt when I was in quarantine you couldn't go every day somebody calling you uh, hey where are you something you know like the inquiring of your uh, your whereabouts and so on but I can tell you I was affected To make a long story short, I recovered because I used, um, I was in quarantine for 21 days, that is. Uh, I used the local stuff like the ginger, turmeric, um, lemongrass, uh, a lot, lots of vegetables, fish only for meat, and um, ground provision. I used those things and I was exercising every day. I ran like every other day, like uh, two miles. When I was cleared from this COVID-19 thing, as they say, um, I really felt good. And um, I continue to take all the necessary precautions. You know, I wear my mask whenever I'm in large gatherings. If I'm in a bus, you know, public transportation, if I'm in, if I'm in a store, supermarket, someplace, I would wear it. So that is how COVID-19 has affected me as a student and I know that there is other students out there with the same situation and I just want to say don't give up, keep pushing and we'll all get through this together. My encouragement to everyone out there is, and especially to students, is to keep putting your best foot forward and to push as much as possible to achieve what you want to achieve in spite of the conditions around you or the environment and that anything that you put your mind to is possible. So do not let COVID stop you, but find innovative, adaptive ways to deal with the current situation. If you take a glimpse to the time when this pandemic had begun, you surely will be proud of yourself to know you have reached this far, despite all that was brought with this pandemic. Continue to stay strong, continue to show love, and continue to believe in yourself and tomorrow. I always have my alcohol, all right? It's always in my bag, and I would spray my hand, yes, and do my thing, yeah, sanitize. But, you know, that's my little story uh, on how I was affected by this um, COVID-19 pandemic. I trust that you're taking all the necessary precautions necessary, all right? So do your thing and stay safe.